Why does the eclipse on April 8th even matter? Aren't there eclipses all the time? Well, yeah, you're right about that. But this solar eclipse on Monday is a little different. So first and foremost, the solar eclipse breaks down into three different types of categories. You have the total, like what we'll have on Monday, April 8th, a partial and an annular solar eclipse. It's all because the moon, which is about 400 times smaller than the sun, moves in front of the sun, which is about 400 times further away than the moon is, and it gives the illusion that it's about the same size for a total solar eclipse. So the total solar eclipse happening on April 8th is kind of a big deal because it can only be seen in special locations. The upcoming eclipse is the first to be visible in Canada since 1979. Then in Mexico, it's the first since 1991. The US got a really nice one in 2017, but the next one in the US isn't coming back until August 23rd of 2045. It's a long time away, but you can find out all the details on that in future eclipses. All you need to do is head to clickorlando.com.